Hello everybody, my name is Jarkris, and welcome back to, you guessed it, Skyrim Stormcloak Roleplay Let's Play. I would hope you know, you clicked on the video, you read the title. Um, anyways, in the last episode, which occurred 25 days ago, sorry for the hiatus on this one, we cleared out Fort Hrogstad, and now we're going to liberate Hoffengar, and this will be the finale of this series. It's about time I get it out of the way, I kind of like just didn't. If I'm being honest, I didn't really want to do it too much, so I didn't, but I also had a lot of other stuff come up that just gave me an excuse to push it back to where I could say I was busy. But I need to get it done so I can start a new series on the channel next. So this will be the final series. If you guys enjoyed the series, me or my channel, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And now let's go talk to Galmar. We're taking the city. Meet the brothers gathering for the attack. Fight well or die well. Talos, be with you. Alright, and yeah, that's why I didn't return here in the previous episode or video. Because it's going to send us right into this attack, and now we travel to the Solitude military camp. Which is a very, very measly little camp, if I'm being honest. Um, oh, there it is. Receive orders from Ulfric Stormcloak. Unfortunately, I don't have anything discovered until... Well, I don't have any word discovered closer than we are right now. Somebody killed that poor rabbit here. And yeah, this will be... I already said that, never mind. Woo! Catapults. Those are actually pretty cool that you get to use those. Although, I don't think the catapults that you'll shoot will actually do any damage whatsoever. So, it's not too cool. Man, I wish there was some, like, music playing right now. You know, my Skyrim has had this thing where the music has just been very on and off. And when it decides to play... And if you guys are wondering what's next on the series, I think I'm going to do a Fallout 4 Survival Permadeath. See how long I can last in that. That will also be a little slightly modded, but nothing too serious. I'm going to make a save right here. I am kind of a low level, so you don't know what will happen. We come to this moment carried by the sacrifices and courage of our fellows. Those who have fallen. Those still bearing the shields to our right. We will know the fullness of our determination, the true depth of our anger, and the exalted righteousness of our cause. The gods are watching. The spirits of our ancestors are stirring. And men, under suns yet to dawn, will be transformed by what we do here today. Fear neither pain nor darkness, for sovereign God awaits those who die with weapons in their hands and courage in their hearts. We now fight our way to Castle Dower to cut the head off the Legion itself. And in that moment, the gods will look down and see Skyrim as she was meant to be, full of lords who are mighty, powerful, and free. Ready now, everyone, with me, for the sons and daughters of Skyrim! <laughs> okay, so there is, you know, 10, 11, maybe 12 of us. So, I think that's plenty of people to take out this entire city. I mean, Solitude is the... has the most people in it, although it's still only, like, I think 68 or something like that. But obviously it's going to be filled with Imperial soldiers who aren't actual, you know, citizens or residents. Interestingly, I don't see any actual Solitude city guards. Now, can I not go up here? I mean, that would be really easy to get the Castle Dower if I can just go right up these stairs. Man, I have like an itch on the back of my neck. That's annoying, and it breaks the immersion. Oh my god, are you guys going to help me? Seems like there's more spawning down there. I think I have healing out because I don't have any healing potions. Oh, we do have a um, level up in our back pocket now, though. Let's actually just use that right now. Obviously, just throw it into health. It's the only thing that's useful to us right now. Let's see if there's any bonuses we can get. Um, I guess I'll just throw it into Bladesman. Just for that critical hit damage. This is, like I said, a thousand times the last time I'm going to be doing this, so it doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, the gates are down, so you can't get in through there. So I guess they're not going to help me up here, so it's kind of fruitless. So, we have to get through here, through these barricades. So, I'll chop these down while the Stormcloaks are fighting more of those Imperial soldiers. 
Okay, there we go. So yeah, I don't really know if I'm ever going to do a series exactly like this one again. I don't really think a whole trying to do a roleplay series is my thing. It's just not how I enjoy playing video games. Okay, guys, we're we gotta go this way. Um, I I looked up there. There's a um, a gate in the way. So I think yeah, this is the only way to go, right? Yes. Um, it doesn't really matter. And did you guys just hear the like weapon equip sound? Or was that just me? I should probably be waiting for my allies, but they're just not going. Okay, these soldiers are not very powerful. So, we're already at Castle Dower. Which is kind of crazy. I feel like battling through Windhelm definitely takes a lot longer. Oh, I'm about to die. Hold on, let me check healing potions. Oh, I do have a few. Use those all up. And I... I would imagine if I just duck through here, Ulfric Stormcloak's gonna spawn in next to me. Secure the door. Yes. Already done. Ulfric, stop. Stop what? Taking Skyrim back from those who leave her to rot. You're wrong, Ulfric. We need the Empire. Without it, Skyrim will assuredly fall to the Dominion. You were there with us. You saw it. The day the Empire signed that damn treaty was the day the Empire died. You're a damn fool. Stand aside, woman. We've come for the general. He has given up, but I have not. Rekar, go. You're free to leave. I'm also free to stay and fight for what I believe in. You're also free to die for it. This is what you wanted? Shield brothers and sisters killing each other? Families torn apart? This is the Skyrim you want? Aside. That's not the Skyrim I want. Rika, you don't have to do this. You've left me no choice. Talos, preserve us. Okay, so there's no way she's standing down. Oh wow, she's actually pretty powerful. Oh, but Ulfric does not really care. And now she is weaponless, which kind of makes me feel bad, almost. But yeah, she is actually quite the high-level character. I doubt I would have been able to actually beat her on my own. Alright, and that's her dealt with. Enough. This is it for you. Any last words before I send you to oblivion? You realize this is exactly what they wanted. What who wanted? The Thalmor. They stirred up trouble here. Forced us to divert needed resources and throw away good soldiers quelling this rebellion. It's a little more than a rebellion, don't you think? Ah. We aren't the bad guys, you know. Maybe not, but you certainly are the good guys. Perhaps you're right, but then what does that make you? You just said it yourself. It makes us right. And if I surrender? The Empire I remember never surrendered. That Empire is dead, and so are you. So be it. Just kill him and let's be done with it already. Come, Galmar. Where's your sense of the dramatic moment? By the gods. If it's a good ending to some damn story you're after, perhaps the Dragonborn should be the one to do it. Good point. Well, Dragonborn, what do you say? Do you want the honor? Okay, so my character would definitely not do it, and my myself I wouldn't. Um, That honor belongs to you. As you wish. This moment, we three will be immortalized in song. Come on, Ulfric, finish it. Wow. Good. It's done. Well, 
I suppose some kind of speech is in order. I'll go gather the men in the courtyard. And Alyssa? Don't you worry about her. I sent my best men to round her up. Stormblade, I want you to have my sword, a token of my appreciation. Now then, the men will expect a speech. Will you stand by my side? I wish to honor you, Dragonborn, and the truest of Stormcloaks. Of course, my lord. Very good. Come, the people await us. Man, killing General Tullius really just leaves a bad taste in my mouth, not going to lie. It's... I don't know, it just... I'll talk about it after this speech, I guess. Okay, let's go and give that speech, big guy. I am indeed Ulfric Stormcloak, and at my side, the man known as Stormblade. And the world knows as the Dragon Boy. And indeed, there are many that call us heroes. But it is all of you who are the true heroes. It was you who fought a dying empire, who sunk its claws into our land, trying to drag us down with it. It was you who fought the Thalmor and their puppets who would have us deny our gods and our heritage. It was you who fought your kin who didn't understand our cause, who weren't willing to pay the price for our freedom. But more than that, it was you who fought for Skyrim, for our right to fight our own battles, to return to our glory and traditions, to determine our own future. Yeah! And it is for these reasons that I cannot accept the mantle of High King. Not until the moot declares that title should adorn my shoulders will I accept it. And what about Jarl Elisif? Yes, what about the Lady Elisif? Will she put aside her personal hatred for me and her misplaced love for the Emperor and his coin so that the suffering of our people will end? Will she acknowledge that it is we Nords who will determine Skyrim's future? Will she swear fealty to me, so all may know that we are at peace, and a new day has dawned? Uh, I, th I think you're looking the wrong I way. Do. Then it is settled. The Jarl will continue to rule solitude. I will garrison armies here to ward off Imperial attempts to reclaim the city. And in due time, the Moot will meet and settle the claim to High King once and for all. There is much to do. And I need every able-bodied man and woman committed to rebuilding Skyrim. A great darkness is growing, and soon we will be called to fight it on these shores or abroad. The Old Mary Dominion may have defeated the Empire, but it has not defeated Skyrim. How'd I do? <laughs> not so bad. Nice touch about the High King. Thank you. I thought so too. It's a foregone conclusion, you know. Oh, I know. The Imperials are not going to leave us alone. They still have camps in the hills. They'll continue to strike out at us whenever and wherever they can. I'm not afraid of the remnants of the Legion. In time, they'll all give up and go home. What I fear is that the Thalmor will see our victory here and turn greater attention to our shores. We must be prepared to face them. Aye. And of course, we couldn't have done it without you. May the gods preserve you. May the gods preserve us all. Come, Galmar. We've still much work to do. That we have forgotten them. This I fear. The gods will remember. Okay, so that wraps up this series for the most part. Like I was saying, I don't really like the way that General Tullius dies in this because he's like, what if I surrender? And they're just like, no, we're going to kill you no matter what you do. And I feel like that's kind of, you know, they talk about being honorable and stuff like that. But where's the honor in killing somebody who is surrendering? Especially when it's, it's a war. It's not like they're, it's not like they invaded Skyrim, you know what I mean? And they 
bust in and lose the battle, and it's like, oh, you, they try to surrender after they've murdered all of your innocent civilians and stuff like that. It's, no, they're trying to quell a rebellion, and they lost, you invaded them, and he puts up surrender. It's like, you can't just let him go home or something. It's like, no, he's gonna die no matter what. And I feel like that's just kind of messed up, not honorable, like the Stormcloaks claim to be. Um, should we talk to Ulfric first? Yes. Make it quick. I'm a busy man. Um, so do I call you High King now? No, not yet. We'll wait for the move to name me High King. It'll be better for all that way. But that doesn't mean I won't start acting like it. There's much to do. The new Jarls need help building armies and enforcing their right to rule. The Empire may try to reclaim Skyrim, and I need everyone ready for that. Though the biggest threat, of course, is the elves. Um, that's he's just gonna tell us to go kill more Imperials if we see him out in the wild or whatever. Now that we've defeated the Imperials, would there be peace? There will be peace for a time, during which we must rebuild Skyrim into the land it once was. Strong, self-reliant, the center of mankind. Because getting rid of the Empire was only half the problem. Soon the elves will again seek to rule the world. We must ready ourselves to fight them. For it will be Skyrim that shall lead Tamriel in those dark days, when the fate of the world is finally determined. Okay, and that's that. Um, nothing too interesting to hear from there. Um, but yeah, guys, I do hope you enjoy the series, even though I kind of, you know, skipped around it a little bit. I missed a lot of episodes for a few weeks and all of that. And I didn't really roleplay it like I guess I should have. But that's not... I've definitely learned that that's not my style of video, and I'm not going to try to do it unless I'm really determined to commit to it, so you can have my word on that one. But as always, I do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure, leave a like and subscribe, and make sure to tune in to whatever's new on the channel in the next coming weeks. Hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.